The Way Home, or Face the Fire, by Jar. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Jar Publications 2011. For printed version please contact Jar at jartruth.net. The Way Home, by Jar. Most people wonder at the purpose of life. Is there a mission or destiny for each of us? Reconciling the claims of science with those of religion often leaves the rational mind confused. Whether you are alive to these problems or not, the way home is for you. Even if you go through life without considering such matters, this book is still for you. If you are puzzled, here you will find the answers. If you are asleep to the meaning of life, this book will rouse you with a jerk for it is dynamic. It's highly revealing. It is vital. It is both unique and exhilarating. It offers an abundance of food for thought and is a tremendous challenge. It has a message too. A golden message for each one of us, young or old. Armageddon Survival Plan, The Key. For printed version please contact jar at jartruth.net Published by Jar Publications P.O. Box 561 The Way Home PMB 205. Gibraltar. Copyright 1986. AJ Hill. ISBN. 0958301107. Please accept this book as a gift to all of you, without preference, forget your superstitions and religions, unite yourselves into one brotherhood, become children of God, by adoption, and bring lasting peace on earth and have goodwill towards all men. Please. It is your only chance to survive. Dedication. This book is dedicated to all my enemies who have ever loved me, and to those who will love me in the future. Hopefully the whole of mankind, for eternity. I should like to give special thanks, to all the people who have taught me lessons about human nature and human life on earth. Both good and bad lessons, without which, I could not have written this book. This book, like the Torah and the Quran, has been written in 40 days, and at the same time of year. I have expanded certain points later, to make them easier for everyone to understand. The JAR website is at http colon slash slash jartruth.net Armageddon Survival Plan, The Key. For printed version please contact JAR at jartruth.net Forward This is not a religious book. I repeat, this is not a religious book. In the way that you understand the word religion today. With priests, churches and their stupid, pagan rites and rituals. Before you read this book, you must separate totally, in your own mind the Lord Guardian of Divinity from all forms of organized religion and superstitious nonsense, and read it with an open mind, without any preconceived ideas. The Torah, Old Testament, New Testament, which are combined in the Bible, and Quran are not religious books either. They are guides sent from the Lord Guardian of Divinity, King and Ruler of the Universe, to tell you what, you have to do, and the rules, you have to follow, in order to be able to be taught, how you have to be so that you can, eventually be allowed to go home, to your real home. This book is fact, not fiction, it is the truth about life in this galaxy, and here on earth. It is the truth that you have, or should have, all been waiting thousands of years to hear, that is what life on earth is really all about. It has been written, to enlighten the whole world, without preference to race, color or creed, it is a book for all human plus beings, including you. If, after having read and digested its contents, you choose to disbelieve it, that will have been your own decision, and you will have my heartfelt pity, because, very soon, as a result of your decision, you will first be tortured, by what you have done, then burn and die on the last day, as you have been promised and continually reminded of, for thousands of years. You will have missed your last chance to survive execution, and it will have been your own free choice. Whilst reading this book, as when reading any of the Guardian of Divinity's books, you must ask him, to interpret it correctly for you, as you are reading it, and listen for his telepathic enlightenment. If not, 
you will have Satan confusing you into misinterpreting it. Ask the Lord to interpret it for you, in preference to any human plus being, except me. Please excuse my lack of writing professionalism. I am a soldier, not a writer and have written this book, not to demonstrate, and impress people with my command of the English language, but to be as easy as possible, for all God's adopted children, to be able to understand. I have written this book, with my father's help and guidance, and with love for all of you. If anyone is offended by this book, then I suggest, for your own sake, that you destroy your ego and learn humility, you will then no longer be offended. If you do not destroy your ego, it will destroy you. Peace on earth. Goodwill to all men. Armageddon survival plan, the key. For printed version please contact. Jar. At. Jar truth. Dot. Net. Preface. Adaptation from the Desiderata of Life. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrendering your principles, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth, quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant, they to have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons, they are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself, with anyone other than Jesus, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater, and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of drapery. But let this not blind you, to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, but not enough, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity, and disenchantment, it is as perennial, as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit, to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born out of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and stars, you earned the right to be here. And whether or not, it is clear to you, the heavens are unfolding as God wishes. Therefore be at peace with him, however you conceive him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of human life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, evil people and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be careful, keep the commandments, do God's will, and strive to be happy and good. Adapted from Desiderata. Found in Old St. Paul's Church, Baltimore, dated 1692. The Way Home. The Soul's Guide Back to Heaven. Contents. Chapter 1. Before the Beginning of human life on earth. Chapter 2. The prison reform school with no bars. Earth slash hell. Chapter 3. The creation of human animals. Chapter 4. The first test, and regression to following Lucifer. Chapter 5. A fresh start. The choosing of Noah. Chapter 6. Abraham, Lot and Sodom, and Gomorrah. Chapter 7. The choosing of Abraham and his line. Chapter 8. The Shining Example. The Light of the World, Chapter 9. The Birth of Christianity, as yet another religion. Chapter 10. Muhammad, and the Birth of Islam, as yet another religion. Chapter 11. Satan's Use of Religions to Divide, Conquer and Rule. Chapter 12. Prince Michael slash Christ Comes Again. Chapter 13. Unlucky for Some. Opening parenthesis. Most. Question mark. Closing parenthesis. Armageddon survival plan, the key. For printed version please contact. Jar. At. Jar truth. Dot. Net.